Hello from Who Died Today America, and welcome back to our channel. In the past few days, we have received somber news about the passing of extraordinary talents. Today's episode is dedicated to honoring their memory. Additionally, we will recap the stars whom we have recently lost. Before we begin, we kindly ask for your support. If this video or the legacies of these remarkable individuals have touched your life, please consider giving this video a thumbs up as a sign of respect and remembrance. Thank you. Angela Chow, a luminary in the shipping industry and a prominent figure in American corporate and political circles, tragically passed away at the age of 50 in a car accident on February 10th. Chow, who was at the helm of the New York-based Foremost Group, an enterprise renowned for its dry bulk shipping operations, leaves behind a legacy marked by exceptional leadership, innovation, and a commitment to breaking barriers for women in the executive realm. Born into a family with deep ties to both the maritime industry and American politics, Angela Chow carved her path with distinction. A Harvard Business School alumna, she graduated summa cum laude, crafting a case study that remains an essential part of the institution's curriculum. Her academic achievements were only the beginning of a career that saw her influence extend to prestigious boards, including the Museum of Modern Art, the Metropolitan Opera, and her alma mater's business school. Chow's life was one of pioneering success and profound impact. Her work not only propelled Foremost Group to new heights, but also served as an inspiration for aspiring female executives worldwide. Her passion for music and intellectual curiosity were hallmarks of her character, reflecting a life lived with zeal and a commitment to excellence in every endeavor. The loss of Angela Chow is felt deeply not only by her family, including her father, Dr. James S.C. Chow, and sister, Elaine Chow, former Secretary of Labor and Secretary of Transportation, but also by a broader community that admired her contributions to the maritime industry and her role as a trailblazer for women. Her relationship to Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell as his sister-in-law underscored the unique intersection of business acumen and political relevance that Chow navigated with grace. As tributes pour in, Angela Chow's legacy is remembered as one of formidable achievement, inspiring leadership, and a profound influence on the sectors she touched. The maritime industry, in particular, has lost a visionary whose impact will be felt for generations to come. David Gale, a cherished actor recognized for his roles in iconic television series such as Beverly Hills, 90210, and Port Charles, has passed away at the age of 58. His sister, Katie Cole Menaris, announced the sad news over the weekend, leaving fans and the entertainment community in mourning. Gail's portrayal of Stuart Carson, the wealthy fiancé of Shannon Doherty's character Brenda Walsh on Beverly Hills 90210, remains one of his most memorable roles, endearing him to a generation of viewers. Born in Tampa, Florida in 1965, Gale embarked on a successful acting career in the 1990s, showcasing his talent in various television shows including Growing Pains, Murder, She Wrote, and Doogie Howser, M.D. His work not only demonstrated his versatility as an actor, but also left an indelible mark on the era's pop culture landscape. Gale's sudden departure leaves a void in the hearts of those who knew him personally and professionally. His sister's tribute on Instagram paints him as not just a beloved family member, but also a best friend whose presence was a constant source of support and companionship. The cause and date of Gale's death remain undisclosed, adding to the somber mystery of his passing. Tributes have poured in from colleagues and fans alike, with Peter Ferriero, host of the Beverly Hills 90210 Show podcast, a platform where Gale had shared his experiences and insights, remembering him as a kind and vibrant soul with incredible stories to tell. Gale's reflections on his time in Beverly Hills 90210, particularly the poignant moment of proposing to Brenda, reveal the depth and sincerity he brought to his roles. After his memorable stint on Beverly Hills 90210, Gale continued to make his mark on television, 
notably in the WB drama Savannah, and as Dr. Joe Scanlon in Port Charles, further cementing his legacy in the entertainment industry. His passing is not just the loss of a talented actor, but also of a person who brought warmth, depth, and charm to every role he inhabited. David Gale will be remembered for his contributions to television and the vibrant life he led off screen. As the entertainment world and his loved ones mourn, his legacy will undoubtedly continue to inspire and resonate with audiences for years to come. Joyce Randolph, the beloved actress known for her iconic role as Trixie Norton on the classic television sitcom The Honeymooners, passed away from natural causes at the age of 99 in her Manhattan home on the Upper West Side. Born in Detroit on October 21, 1924, Randolph embarked on her acting journey after high school, leading her from retail sales to the spotlight of Broadway and eventually to the golden era of television. Randolph's career catapulted to stardom in 1951 when Jackie Gleason, impressed by her performance in a Chloré commercial, invited her to join the Honeymooners. As Trixie, the witty and spirited wife of Ed Norton, Randolph became a household name, endearing herself to audiences with her charm and comedic timing. Her portrayal of Trixie, alongside Jackie Gleason, Art Carney, and Audrey Meadows, created an unforgettable quartet that captured the hearts of millions and left an indelible mark on American television. Despite the typecasting that followed her departure from the Honeymooners, Randolph's legacy as Trixie remained unmatched, a testament to her talent and the depth she brought to the character. Away from the camera, she enjoyed a personal life filled with love, marrying Richard Lincoln Charles in 1955 and welcoming their son in 1960. Randolph's longevity in both her career and life mirrored the enduring appeal of The Honeymooners, a series that continues to delight new generations of fans. As the last surviving cast member of the iconic show, Randolph's passing marks the end of an era in television history. Her contributions to the arts and her role as a pioneer for women in the industry will be remembered fondly. Joyce Randolph's legacy will live on through the laughter and joy she brought to viewers around the world, solidifying her place in the pantheon of great American entertainers. Angus Mitchell, celebrated hairstylist and only child of the legendary Paul Mitchell, tragically passed away at 53. Found lifeless in his pool at his Diamond Head home, his untimely death on Wednesday has left the beauty industry in mourning. While Honolulu police have initiated an unattended death investigation, early reports suggest drowning with no signs of foul play. The cause of death awaits further examination, a process that could extend up to six months. As the co-owner of John Paul Mitchell Systems, a pioneering hair product company co-founded by his father and John Paul DeGioria in 1980, Angus Mitchell carved out his own legacy within the beauty realm. John Paul DeGioria, his father's business partner, expressed his heartbreak over Angus's sudden passing, highlighting his profound love for family, community, and the beauty industry. Angus's impact was felt far beyond the confines of the company, touching lives across the globe with his generosity and passion. Born into a legacy of hairdressing excellence, Angus faced the monumental task of upholding the Mitchell name, a challenge he met with dedication and grace. Despite the pressures and scrutiny that came with his surname, he pursued his craft with humility and determination, seeking to honor his father's memory while forging his own path. His journey through beauty school was marked by heightened expectations, yet he emerged with a commitment to excellence and a deep respect for the industry his family helped shape. Beyond his professional achievements, Angus Mitchell was a staunch advocate for environmental conservation and community welfare in Hawaii, embodying the spirit of aloha through his work with local organizations and nature preserves. His contributions extended beyond the beauty industry, leaving an indelible mark on the environmental and social landscape of Hawaii. Angus Mitchell's legacy is survived by his wife Mara and their eight-year-old son Dylan, a poignant reminder of the enduring influence of the Mitchell family in the world of hairdressing and beyond. In remembering Angus Mitchell, 
The beauty industry reflects on the loss of a visionary who blended artistic talent with a profound commitment to community and conservation. His passing at the same age as his father, Paul Mitchell, adds a layer of poignancy to his legacy, one that will continue to inspire future generations. Dexter Scott King, a fervent advocate for civil and animal rights, and the son of iconic civil rights leaders Martin Luther King Jr. and Coretta Scott King, passed away, leaving a legacy marked by activism, legal scholarship, and literary contribution. Born on January 30, 1961, in Atlanta, Georgia, Dexter grew up in a household steeped in the struggle for equality and justice, a legacy he embraced and forwarded throughout his life. At the tender age of seven, Dexter experienced the tragic assassination of his father, a pivotal moment that shaped his future endeavors. Supported by the likes of Harry Belafonte, Dexter and his siblings were insured an education, leading him to Morehouse College, his father's alma mater, where he pursued business administration. Though he left Morehouse before completing his degree, Dexter's career was characterized by his dedication to his father's legacy and his own path as an activist. Serving as the chairman of the King Center for Nonviolent Social Change in Atlanta, Dexter was instrumental in preserving and promoting his father's philosophy of nonviolence. His tenure saw significant shifts towards focusing on his father's legacy, including reducing staff and prioritizing the preservation of Martin Luther King Jr.'s teachings. Despite stepping down briefly, he resumed his role, underscoring his commitment to the cause. A vocal advocate for veganism and animal rights, Dexter's influence extended beyond civil rights. His passion for ethical treatment of animals and his transition to vegetarianism, inspired by Dick Gregory, highlighted his belief in compassion across all aspects of life. Dexter also made his mark in the film industry, lending his voice to portray his father in educational and feature films, further cementing his role in keeping his father's memory alive for new generations. His involvement in the Lloyd Jowers trial and his staunch belief in a conspiracy behind his father's assassination demonstrated his relentless pursuit of truth and justice. With his passing, the world loses not just the son of a legendary figure, but an influential voice in the ongoing struggle for equality and kindness. Dexter Scott King's life was a testament to the enduring power of a family's commitment to change the world echoing the dream his father so eloquently shared with the world.